Jane Singleton is on a mission. She wants to shine a spotlight on something that is captivating but doesn't get much attention, the history of Spokane Valley. My great-grandparents immigrated from Belgium and with them they brought a lot of their parents and their grandparents things. So we were always exposed to and around dishes and things that belong to people that came before us. And then when I moved to the Valley, I worked for the Valley Chamber of Commerce and wanted to do an event and showcase the history of the Valley. I had a tough time finding much history in one spot. And then I started thinking about, well, where's the museum? Where's the repository? We need a place to bring children. We need a place to bring our relatives who are visiting. We need a place that shows visitors coming through this area. This is what we're all about. This is our story. This is why we're unique. Jane's passion for history led her to create the Spokane Valley Heritage Museum. Along the way, she has found lots of interest and support. But it's amazing how many things have come out of attics and basements from all over the country. Things that people still had and found out about the museum and said, oh, I have this, it belongs here. And so everything we've needed has been donated or it just one of those, what we like to call lo and behold, we start talking about, gee, wouldn't it be nice if we had XYZ for this exhibit or that type of thing and day later, sometimes a week later, phone call, in comes whatever it was. So attitude of gratitude here because everything has come together so well. And the most significant thing, the thing that really warms my heart is the people that this museum has attracted, either as volunteers or supporters or people that just keep coming back. Every year they come here to visit children and they make sure they come in the museum. We always try to have a local bent to everything that we have here. It's, it's been kind of a fun building to come into and it is the last one in the state of Washington. The Opportunity Township Hall is the last township hall in the state of Washington still standing. It was built in 1912 as a governmental building. This is where the township performed their governmental functions. We got the building, we own it. We got it on the national and state historic registers. Everything from silent movies were shown in here. Roller skating on the wood floor. Marriages, family get-togethers, and so forth. So it, it contains the spirit of this community. We have the most wonderful volunteers here. They do a variety of tasks depending on what their particular abilities or skills are. Some build exhibit components, some do research, some clean. A lot of the volunteers help with the group tours that we have. When we are setting up for new exhibits, I do research, uh, which usually is several months worth before we actually do an exhibit. And I also do photo archiving. We have thousands of photos that have been donated to us and we're scanning them all and putting them into a searchable database. And it lists everything we have, the map collection, um, all the photos, oral histories and so forth, everything in the museum collection. And that's a searchable database. For instance, if you came in and said, boy, my great grandfather had an apple orchard in Otis Orchards and his name was Kinney, would you have anything? So we'd go over to the searchable database, type in Kinney, and then our collection would come up and then you could click on each individual item and it says if it's a photo or a book or a letter or what have you. I've really been surprised at how far we've come in a relatively short period of time. And we have a lot of plans for expansion and developing our outside areas and things like that. So I would say our, our growth and development has been a very pleasant surprise to me. It's awesome. Every day is like Christmas. I wake up, I can't wait to get here. I'm excited to see who's called, who's emailed, what may come in that day, what direction we're going. We always have a plan. We're gonna do X, Y, Z, this, this, and that today, or we'll paint this and, and work on this, research this, and nine times out of 10, we go the other direction, but it's an awesome direction. Somebody happens to walk in the door, like last week a man came in with um, a four pound cannon shot that looks to be of the time frame of the Indian Wars when Colonel Wright marched through the valley, which was unearthed while they were working on Trent Road. Uh, he found it in 1978 while they were digging. So, and then we all went in a different direction that day.
I grew up in the valley, went to Central Valley, graduated from there, and to come back and to actually be able to do work that gives back to the valley that I've enjoyed all my life has been very rewarding. The museum to me is, represents the fact that we all have a purpose. There's something we all can do to leave the world a better place than we found it. Um, and th that's what it means to me. It's been an important part of my life. It has become a big part of my life. I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been very blessed, very grateful to have this opportunity to start the Museum for the Valley. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.